What's going on everybody, it's your boy Big Mike, I'm back with another video here on Madden 23 and today we are going to be doing episode number 11 of the Reboot series. Now, I might not feel too excited to be doing this video, however, um, I am sick today, but I still wanted to get this video out because like I said yesterday, we're going to be doing a another uh, two video special today and as you guys can see we are here with the Carolina Panthers now like I said in the video yesterday um the Panthers the Raiders and the Broncos all have an 80 overall rating we did the Broncos in yesterday's video and uh we didn't do that great uh we actually finished up last place in our division um and uh like i said yeah we 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 did not do that great so once again uh we finished a video yesterday uh with only being able to make the playoffs uh twice <laughs> uh so hopefully in this video we can actually make the playoffs and we can do pretty good now like i said yesterday uh from here on out um I was going to switch over to an owner, fire my whole staff, and then rehire some new guys. I got Brandon Sark as my head coach. We got Austin Trask as the offensive coordinator. And what I tried to do is I tried to get offensive coordinators that um, fit the offensive scheme and the defensive scheme. I did that for Austin Trask, but the only problem was I had to get uh, Scott Anderson as my defensive coordinator and the reason why is because there were no defensive coordinators that fit uh the tampa 2 scheme uh that brandon starks had so anyways i did what i said i was gonna do i fired my entire coaching staff and i hired some new ones so we're gonna go through the depth chart now as you guys can see baker mayfield is the starting quarterback and we got pj walker but the only problem is, is that Sam Darnold is still not, uh, he's not there. Now, a lot of people have asked me why that happens. And I'm going to show you guys really quick what the deal is. So, if you come down here to quarterback, he is there. Um, he's just injured. And that's why players don't show up on the uh, depth chart. As you guys can see, he has a broken ankle. He is out for four weeks but hopefully that doesn't uh stop us from being able to trade him uh because of the simple fact that he's injured uh i don't think we're gonna let it get a lot of picks out of it but at the same time he's only out for four weeks so uh i'm gonna keep baker mayfield as my starting quarterback obviously the panthers had a lot of expectations going into this year uh, with Baker Mayfield, and they haven't been living up to those expectations. But Baker Mayfield, he's going to stay as my starting quarterback. Probably trade for a quarterback again in this one. Uh, trade for a backup quarterback. Um, I'll probably trade for uh, Teddy Bridgewater from the Dolphins. Both him and Tua Tagovailoa have the same overall rating. Um, I don't want to grab Tua uh, and have him play back up to Baker Mayfield. I would much rather try to get um, Teddy Bridgewater. Coming down to the running back spot, we got Christian McCaffrey, Chuba Hubbard, and uh, Dante Foreman. I think in this case, I'm going to trade away uh, Chuba Hubbard. I realize that he is a scheme fit, but at the same time, I can just go through free agency as usual, sign a backup running back to Christian McCaffrey. Fullback spot, I don't really worry about that much. Now, the wide receiver spot, uh, the, like, the Panthers have an okay wide receiving core. Obviously, DJ Moore, he had a great season last year with Samuel, uh, uh, Sam Donald at cornerback, uh, quarterback, not cornerback. Uh, Robbie Anderson, he had a good season last year. Beyond those two, we got LaVisca Chenault. We have Rashard Higgins. And then we have Terrence Marshall and uh, Shai Smith. 
I think what I'm doing, I think what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to try to trade away Chanel first. What I'll do is I'll trade for a wide receiver and then I'll sign another wide receiver. Um, I might sign two receivers, it just depends on who we get. Looking at the tight end spot, we got Ian Thomas, we also got Tommy Tremble and Steven Sullivan. Um, I'm probably going to try to trade away Tommy Tremble. I want to keep Ian Thomas just because he is a scheme fit, and then I'll go through free agency. I will sign a tight end. Um, I'm going to sign a left tackle with free agency as well. I don't need Cameron Irving playing back up to a completely different position. Uh, so we're going to get a backup left tackle. Looking at the left guard spot, um, we're definitely going to need another uh, left guard. I'm probably going to see what I can get in free agency first if I can't get anybody. I'll try to trade for like a low talented left guard. Uh, center spot, we got Bradley Bozeman. We're going to keep him on the team. Uh, right guard spot, we got... Austin Corbett, we also have Cade Mace to back him up. We're not going to touch that spot. Uh, right tackle, we got Taylor Moten, and we also got Cameron Irving backing him up. Again, I don't need Irving playing to backup position, so uh, essentially the Panthers, they do not have a really bad uh, offensive line. We just got to fix that uh, left guard spot. Uh, looking at the left end spot, we got Brian Burns. And then we also have Marquise Hayes. And I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that how it is. I'll keep those two on the team. Uh, right end spot, one spot that we need to upgrade on. And I think what I might do is trade away uh, Gross. See what I can get, and then uh, we will cut um, Barno. We'll go through free agency and we'll sign two right ends. Uh, defensive tackle spot, we have a lot of defensive tackles, and I think what I'm going to try to do is trade away uh, Henry Anderson. If I can't, we'll try Matthew, and then I'll go through free agency. I'll sign another defensive tackle, and then I'll probably get rid of uh, Roy and uh hoskins uh left outside linebacker spot another spot that we are going to make a trade at um i'm probably going to i'm gonna try to trade one of these two players away uh see what we can get in return and then i'm gonna make a trade for a left outside linebacker if i can't get anybody then I'll probably end up signing one. Now, middle linebacker, this is a spot that we definitely, definitely, definitely need to focus on. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is this case is trade for a middle linebacker, go through free agency, and I'll probably sign one or two more uh, linebackers. I'll probably end up uh, signing one. Because as soon as we trade for one, we're gonna uh, we're gonna have to um, signing one. I'll just sign two. That way we can get to uh, four. Uh, right outside linebacker spot, we got Shaq Thompson. But I am gonna go through free agency and sign another right outside linebacker. Cornerback spot, not that bad, but not that great. I'm probably going to trade uh, Horn or Henderson, see what I can get in return. And then what I'm going to do is trade for a cornerback, go through free agency, and I'll probably sign two cornerbacks, and then we'll get rid of a cornerback uh, when it comes to that. Uh, free safety spot, I got Xavier Woods. I'm going to keep him on the team. What I'm probably going to do is sign a free safety from free agency and then get rid of one of these two guys here. Short safety spot, we got Jeremy Jim, but I am going to go through free agency, get him a backup. Uh, kicker spot and punter spot, I've been... Uh, focusing on those in the last couple of videos, I'm probably going to either release Eddie or trade him. Uh, see what I can get 
in return and then we'll uh, sign or trade for a kicker um, roster we have 31 million dollars in cap space to work with which actually is not that bad looking at draft picks we got a first and a second a fourth and a fifth um, so we don't have a whole lot of draft picks to work with. We don't have a sixth or a seventh. We also do not have a third. Uh, that is mainly because of the trade the Panthers made to the Browns to get Baker Mayfield. Uh, 2024, we have first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So, like I said, we, we don't have a whole lot of draft picks to work with. Um, but we are... We're going to see what we can do. Now, the Bears always need a quarterback. Um, I'm not going to try to trade for Wilquan Smith. All right, so we didn't get that second round pick. Let's try the third round pick. And we actually got it. So we send Sam Darnold over to the Bears. They give us a third round pick. And our cap room actually moved up to 47 million so we're doing pretty good uh getting that cap room up after getting rid of uh sam darnold's uh contract now let's see if i can find a team the cardinals are slightly interested uh i just want to see how high a second round pick go and that actually went pretty high uh, what if I do their 2024? Okay, that one went a little bit higher, but it's also, it was also for 2024. Uh, let's try the Chiefs. Alright, uh, let's just go for a third round pick. Uh, I'll be fine with doing that. So we send Hover to the Chiefs. Uh, we get a third round pick in return. Okay. Um, wide receiver. The other spot we need to work with. Let's see if we can get rid of Rashad Higgins. Uh, so the Cowboys and the Dolphins are slightly interested in him. We'll be lucky to get a second round pick. And that didn't even go up that high. So... Uh, let's take Higgins out, we'll put, uh, Rashad, not Rashad, uh, Chanel Jr. in there. Um, I don't think we'll get a first round pick, but, oh, that actually went up a little bit high, so we might be able to get the second round pick. That didn't even, <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna move on. Uh, the Giants are highly interested in him. Uh, let's try the second round pick. That kind of went up by. I don't think we're going to get a second round pick for him. If we don't, I'll be content with doing a uh, third round pick. Let's do a third and a seventh. Okay, that didn't even go up that higher. Uh, what if we do a third round pick for 23? Okay, that seventh round pick didn't go. Alright, I'll be content with sticking with the... Uh, and that still didn't go through. Alright, we're gonna move on. Uh, the Patriots are interested in him. Their top need is a wide receiver. Uh, that went up pretty high, so let's try the third round pick. That one actually went through, so we send Chanel Jr. to the Patriots in return. Uh, we get their third round pick. Uh, let's move over to the uh, tight end spot now. Um, let's try to wait... Tried to trade away, shumble, not shumble, tremble. Uh, I don't know why the Raiders are highly interested in him. They're new, they're, they're like normally never interested in tight ends. Like I said, like I've said numerous times, uh, the Chargers always are. 
Um, let's see if we can get their second round pick. That one didn't even go as high as the uh, Raiders did. Let me go through all of these teams. Uh, the Giants are interested in him. Let's see if we can get their second round pick. That didn't even go up any higher. For whatever reason, the Raiders were uh, really interested in him, but tried to get their second round pick for 23 and it didn't work. Uh, 2024 pick actually uh, went up there pretty higher. If I can get another team that is highly uh, interested in him, then I'll be content with uh, sticking with a third round pick. The Saints didn't give us a second round pick. The Steelers are very interested in him. I'm not going to try a first round pick because I already know a team won't go that high with it. Uh, the Steelers actually almost match what the uh, Raiders were interested in him. Uh, let's see if the Chargers will give us a third round pick. They actually did. Okay, so we sent Tremble over to the Chargers. And we get a third round pick in return. Uh, let's see. Let's move on now to the defensive tackle. Try to try to weigh Henderson. Uh, the commanders are slightly interested in him. They don't have a third round pick though. Even then, they probably wouldn't give us a third round pick because of how high. I don't know why the Eagles are interested in him. Look at their defensive tackle spot. They already have four. And all four of them are highly talented uh, defensive tackles, obviously, with uh, Fletcher Cox uh, being the top guy. They didn't give us a second round pick. Almost gave us a third round pick. Um... I want to keep trying to see if we can get a third round pick. The Falcons are slightly interested in him. Let's see if they'll give us a third round pick. They do not. Um, and that didn't even go up much higher than the uh, last team. Um, Packers are slightly interested. Uh, if the Packers don't take it, we'll try to get their fourth round pick. Okay, that actually went through, so we send Henderson over to the Packers. Um, we get a third round pick in return. Um, let's move down now to the left outside linebacker. We'll try to trade away... Uh, Littleton, I'll be surprised if a team is slightly interested in him. And both the Saints and the Seahawks are. Uh, I don't think they'll give us a third round pick, though. That actually went up pretty high. Um, let's try the Seahawks. They actually have a lot of draft picks. Uh, they didn't give him to us. If I can't find a team, that'll take him. Uh, I'll go back to the Saints and I'll try to get their, uh, their fourth round pick. Okay, the Bengals took him, so. I, I am content with, uh, doing that. Um, I need to trade away. I... Uh, now keep our middle linebackers. Uh, right outside linebacker. Not going to worry about that. Cornerback. We'll try to get rid of Henderson. The Bengals are highly interested in him. We can try a second round pick. 
that went on pretty high. Uh, let me come back down to... Let's do a fifth round pick. Uh, we can try both of our fifth round picks. And that actually worked out okay. So we sent Henderson two fifth round picks over to the Bengals. Uh, we get their second round pick in return. <laughs> We're just going to take all of their draft picks. Uh, let's come over now to free safety. Um, we can just try to get rid of one. Uh, I don't think anybody will take him. Okay, so the Bengals do. So we take their seventh round uh, draft pick now. Okay, uh, let's start trading for players. First thing I want to do is get Baker Mayfield at target at wide receiver. We have a lot of third round picks. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, six third round picks. Uh, let's do both of our first round picks. Uh, wide receivers, uh, I want to try to get somebody that fits our scheme, and Stefan Diggs does. Hey, the Bills gave him to us. Uh, we send the Bills our two first round picks. Uh, we get Stefan Diggs in return. Um, let's try to... Uh, one of the positions I need to trade for is a... Uh, let me go through my notes really quick. Just to make sure. Well, not to make sure, but, um... Uh... Just see what I need to trade for. What are my top priorities? Let me pull up my notes real quick. Uh, we need to trade for a left outside linebacker. Uh, we'll use both of our second round picks. Um, let's come up here to our left outside linebacker. Again, same as Stefan Diggs. I want to try to get somebody that is a scheme fit. If I can't, then I will be content with trading for somebody as long as they, you know, have a good rating between an 80 and a 90. Uh, excuse me, that was gross. I'm not finding anybody that is a scheme fit so far. And in all honesty, it probably looks like uh, we're going to have to trade for somebody that's not a scheme fit. Jalen was a scheme fit. I just don't, uh, I don't want him on my team. The other thing to do is, the other thing that we have to do is uh, keep an eye on cap space. Uh, Shaquille Barrett, uh, we can try for him. Uh, Patriots, not the Patriots, the, uh, Buccaneers, uh, almost gave him to us. It's worth a shot for Bosa. Yeah, I knew the Chargers. <laughs> I knew the Chargers wouldn't give him to us. Um, Shaquille Leonard, I would try him, but I don't, I'm not fond on his cap hit. I know it was only, uh, six million, but still... We got Melvin Ingram anyways, so the Dolphins get uh, two second round picks. We get Melvin Ingram in return. Um, let's try to... Let's try to trade for a... Middle linebacker now. Try to get somebody that is a scheme fit. Uh, Deion Jones is, but I don't like his cap. His cap is uh, $14 million. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's keep going through here. Um, 
going through everybody we could try let's try bobby wagner why not his cap is 500,000 that didn't even come close i don't think we'll get a high overall uh rated guy we could try and get dante hightower his cap it's not that bad we actually got him so we send the saints a second round pick and a third round pick and we get uh dante hightower uh in return um let's go ahead now we're gonna try to get a cornerback um so let's see let's see what we can get i want to try to get somebody that is not only a scheme fit but is actually a high talented uh cornerback because we don't have a lot of Good ones. Tredavious White, he's a scheme fit, but I don't think the Bills will give him to us. Yeah, we weren't really offering anything uh, that great. Um, let's try Woozy before... Uh, we actually almost got him. Uh, let's keep going through... Uh, we're, I want to try to get somebody that's scheme fit, like I said, Byron Murphy, he is, Kenny Moore, surprisingly, we haven't traded for Kenny Moore, uh, in a while, Trayvon Diggs, he is a scheme fit, his cap hit is not that bad, and we end up getting him, so we send the Cowboys three third round picks, we get Trayvon Diggs, uh, in return, um, let's try to, uh, let's see, we're gonna try to trade for another cornerback, another quarterback, um, that way I don't have to sign, or actually, hold on, let me take this off, we're gonna go through our wide receiving quarter, Stefan Diggs, DJ Moore, Robbie Anderson, I'll be content with that. That's fine. Alright, let's try to get another cornerback. Uh, Byron Jones is a skin fit, but I don't think we'll get him. Yeah, that didn't even go that uh, go up that high. Uh, let's try to get James Bradbury. We actually got him. Okay, so we send the Eagles two third round picks. Uh, we get Jam, uh, James Bradbury in return. Alright, um, I think for this one, what I'm probably going to do with these is, uh, so I don't have to worry about that left tackle spot. We'll probably try to give up the draft picks we have and actually trade for one. Uh, preferably one that is a scheme fit. Jake Matthews is... We actually almost got him. Let's leave those to 2023. We're, we'll throw in a 7th 2023. And that actually lowers it. So oh, we're going to put that 4th round pick back in. I just looked at the Eagles. Uh, Trent Williams, a 99 overall. It's worth a shot. And we didn't get him. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to. It was uh, it was worth a shot. Wait, is that left tackle that I need? No, I need to sign a backup left tackle. Uh, let me come back up to the Eagles real quick. Landon Dickerson, Elijah Wilkinson. Not a whole lot of guys that I'm interested in. Lincoln Tomlinson, we could try him. He is a scheme fit, and we got him. So the Packers take a third and two fourth round picks. Oh no, that was the uh, Jets, uh, not the Packers. Um, let's see if I can get rid of this uh, seventh round pick. We'll see if we can get uh, a kicker. Uh, we'll try Nick Folk. 
We actually we got him. All right, I will I will gladly take that. That is only the I think that's the only only the second time I've used up all my draft picks. Okay, um, so we didn't trade for a quarterback, and there's not a whole lot of guys here, but I'll probably end up signing a backup, Josh Jones, uh, Josh Johnson, he is a scheme fit, I have never heard of him before, um, but it's okay, they're, uh, running back, we got Sony Michelle, Mike Davis, Damian Williams and Devontae Freeman as scheme fits. I'm going to go ahead and go with uh, Mike Davis. I liked his uh, ratings over um, him. Odell Beckham, he's a scheme fit. We're just going to sign him. I know he's out for 11 weeks, but I feel like when he comes back, he can possibly help us out. Uh, Manuel Sanders, we're going to go with him again as well. Um, let me go to the depth chart really quick because... I need to see what we have at the wide receiver spot before I actually sign another one. Svante, CJ Moore, Robbie Anderson, Emmanuel Sanders. Obviously, we have Odell to get back with uh, Baker Mayfield. Uh, we're going to keep that core that we have uh i'll worry about everything else on there when i go back um we need to sign a tight end jericho is there he is a scheme fit uh eric ebron i don't need to go too high well i prefer to because i just traded away like one of the players that was also 89-86-79-84 change of direction is big for me as well as the awareness the catching catching traffic spectacular catch i'm not worried uh really worried about that uh let's go ahead we're gonna sign uh jerry cook uh, next thing I need to do is sign a, uh, backup left tackle, not a left guard. Uh, let's see, we don't have to go super high on this, um, but actually Jason Peters, uh, while he's not a scheme fit, he was only $200,000, so I'll take that. Um, we need to sign two right ends. Preferably scheme fits. Um, let me take a look at these guys. Strength, awareness, play recognition. That's huge for me. Oh, uh, we're gonna sign now. Dominican Sue. Um, and then we'll go ahead and sign, uh, Chere. He is a scheme fit. Doesn't cost that much. We only have $8 million in cap space to, uh, work with. Um. Defensive tackle. I will sign, uh, Danny Shelton from the Panthers, not the Panthers, uh, the Chiefs practice squad. Uh, oh, we need to sign a left outside linebacker. Joe Thomas, will get him. He's not a scheme fit, but I don't care. We're going to take him off of the Bears, uh, practice squad. Um... I need to get two middle linebackers. 
Uh, we'll sign Eric Wilson. That leaves us with $5 million to work with. Um, and then looking at everybody else, we don't have a whole lot of options. I'll be fine with uh, sticking with at least a um, million dollars out of the tree. That puts us down to four. Um, we need to sign a right outside linebacker. Not a whole lot of guys that are great, so we're going to skip past it. Um, need to sign at least one cornerback. Xavier Rhodes is a scheme fit as well as Desmond Trufant. We're going to go with, uh... Xavier Rhodes, um, and then I think the last thing I'm gonna do here is go for a short safety. Do we have the cap? We do have the cap. All right, so I was able to trade away players, trade for players, and sign the players. That I really like. We actually signed a whole lot of guys from pra uh, practice squads. Alright, we need to release uh, 14 players. Um, Let's see... Uh, QB, we're going to keep that. Running back, we're going to keep that. Wide receivers, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. I need to recount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I'll be content with sticking with uh, six. Wide receivers, uh, tight end, we do not need four. I'll be content with doing three. Left tackle, I'm not going to worry about. Uh, left guard, we don't need three. I'll be okay with doing two. Center spot, not going to touch it. Right guard spot, not going to touch it. Right tackle, not going to touch it. Left end, not going to touch it. Uh, right and I'll be content with doing three or actually no we'll do uh we'll go ahead and do two uh defensive tackle we got one two three four five six defensive tackles um I'll be fine with uh doing three. All right, one, two, three. Uh, left outside linebacker, not going to touch it. One, two, three, four. Four middle linebackers, I'll be fine with that. I need to keep those guys. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'll stick with six. Keep the free safety how it is. Uh, short safety, I don't need three. I'll be content with doing two. Uh, we can cut Panario. Uh, that just leaves us with two players that we need to release. Um, Josh Johnson, we'll get rid of him. We'll stick with two quarterbacks. I really want to keep three running backs. Uh, we'll just cut our fullback. We can have a running back deal with that. Okay. Uh, going through our depth chart one more time. Uh, so looking at everything, Baker Mayfield still the starting quarterback. DJ Walker backing him up. Uh, I didn't mean go down to the Patriots. Um, looking at the running back spot, we still have, we still have Christian McCaffrey. 
Mike Davis to back him up. Dante Foreman, he is still on the team. We got rid of our fullback. Wide receiver, we traded. We got Stephon Diggs. Still have DJ Moore. Still have Robbie Anderson. We signed Emmanuel Sanders. We still have Rashard Higgins. Andre Roberts, he is still on the team. And we also went ahead. We signed Odell Beckham Jr. I know he doesn't come back until week 11, but we'll stick with it. Uh, Jerry Cook signed up from free agency. Ian Thomas is still on the team. Uh, we still have Akeem and then Jason Peters to back him up. Uh, left guard spot, we got Lincoln Tomlinson. And then we still have Brady uh, Christensen to back him up. Bradley Bozeman, he is still on the team. Austin Corbett, he is still on the team. Taylor Moten, he is still on the team as well. Um, Brian Burns still on the team. Marquise Haynes still on the team. We signed Nadamakin Sue. We also signed uh, Kamoko Ture from free agency. Defensive tackle, we traded. We got Derrick Brown. Still have, actually, no, he was still on the team. Uh, signed uh, Matthew. Actually, no, we signed uh, Danny Sheldon. My bad. Uh, left outside linebacker spot, we got Melvin Gordon from the Dolphins to help us out there. Signed Dante Hightower from, actually, no, I think we got him, if I remember correctly, we got him from the Saints. Uh, Damian Wilson, he is still on the team. Got Eric Wilson, Alec Oldertree from Free Agency. Shaq Thompson. Still there at the right outside linebacker spot. We got Trayvon Diggs from the Cowboys. We also got James Bradbury as well. Uh, I think from the... I think it was from the Eagles, but I might be wrong. <laughs> I love how I made these trades and don't remember who I got them from. Uh, Dante Jackson, he is still... On the team, we signed Xavier Rhodes from Free Agency, and J.C. Horn is still on the team as well. Free Safety still have Xavier Woods and Sean Chandler. Uh, Jeremy Chin, he is still on the team. We signed to Sean Gibson to back him up. And then we got Nick Folk for our kicker spot from the Patriots. Uh, so let's go ahead. We are going to sim to midseason. I just dropped my controller on the ground. Uh, hopefully we can uh, end up in a good spot. Alright, so we are actually doing really good. Uh, we are sitting at 6-1, and one, and we actually lost our first, uh, first game to the Buccaneers. Um, was a pretty close game. Uh, they didn't beat us out uh, too bad, but we're sitting at 6-1. and one. We are tied with them in our division. Let me get all of these put up, and then we'll go through the standings. Uh, we'll see where everyone else is uh, sitting at. Uh, we'll get this on here. This one. I'm not worried about the uh, player personnel. Alright, so we still have enough to get these short memories on there. That leaves us with uh, 7 points. Alright, let's take a look at the standings. Um, the Saints are down there at 1 and 6. Uh, so the Ravens are 7 no. Um We were actually like... The Buccaneers are on a six-game winning streak, so they actually started out 0-1. Uh, 
Uh, if we had beat the Buccaneers, we'd be 7-0 like the Ravens. Uh, the Broncos are 6-1 and as well. The Eagles are 5-1. and uh, Let me take a look at the bottom here. There's a lot of teams that are 1-6. and uh, Jets, uh, Jets, not a surprise. Dolphins, kind of a surprise. Saints, kind of a surprise. Bears, not a surprise. Um... Giants not surprised about that as well and the Seahawks really not a not surprised about that also So we got one two three four five six teams That are one and six uh, The Jets the Bears and the Giants and the Seahawks are not surprises to me mainly because they're always uh, Sitting at the bottom uh, When it comes to that who's trying to make me trade offers uh, people want Xavier Rhodes. Uh, let's look at the offers. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna... Nah. Uh, I think I'm good. <laughs> um, Where are we at for overall ranks? We're 6 in offensive points per game. 3rd in passing yards per game. 11th in rushing. 5th in defense, 20th in defensive passing yards. We are actually first um, as far as the rushing game goes. Uh, I want to take a look and see where our guys are at. Baker Mayfield over 2,000 passing yards. Half and half on touchdown to interception ratio. Sitting at six and, uh, 12 and 6. Uh, McCaffrey is at 566 rushing yards, 7 touchdowns. Stefan did 528 in a touchdown. DJ Moore, Jerry Cook, Robbie Anderson. So Baker is actually utilizing that pretty much. There are only 1, 2, 3, 4 players I haven't got a catch yet. Well, Odell was injured. Uh, let me take a look at uh, defense. Xavier Rhodes doing pretty good. Trayvon Diggs doing really good as well as well as James Bradbury. So the two trades we made and the player that we signed are actually doing pretty good. Dante Howard, uh, High Tower, he's actually doing really good as well. Uh, let's sim to the playoffs. Uh, let me decline that trade really quick. Alright, let's sim to the playoffs and see if we can make it for only the <laughs> third time, uh, in this series. Like I said, we're in episode 11 already. We only made it to the playoffs twice. Um... So let's see what we can do here. Hopefully we can actually make the playoffs this time. Uh, if we don't, um, I'm going to be uh, disappointed in the team. Especially for the players that we traded for and that we signed for. Please let us make the playoffs. Please, please, I'm praying. Are you kidding me? Oh wait, did we? Hold on. I want to see if we got the first round by. Oh, we actually did. Sweet. So we got the uh, first round by. Um, I didn't even look at the standings to see where we finish at. Um, but we got the first round by. So we actually made the playoffs this time. But we actually did better. Uh, Eagles, Cardinals, um, Packers, Giants, we got the Rams and the Bucks, uh, Patriots, Bills, Broncos, Chiefs, Titans, Ravens, uh, the Ravens, I want to look what their finishing record was, because they started out 7-0, um, the Browns got the first round by... Um, let's take a look at the standings. Uh, Browns 13 and 4. We finished 12 and 5. The Ravens actually finished 12 and 5 after starting, uh, 7 and 0. 
Uh, where did the Giants finish at? They actually made the playoffs with an 8 9 record. Um, I want to see where are the Dolphins finished 8 9. Saints finished 7 and 10. Uh, let's see, the Jets 5 and 12, 4 and 13, and of course the Falcons for the second time in a row finished 2 and 15. <laughs> uh, let me take a look and see where our guys landed at. Uh, Baker Mayfield, I saw he was third in passing yards, over 5,000, had 35 touchdowns to... 12 interceptions. That was actually better than what he was at when he stemmed to uh, midseason. Christian McCaffrey over 1,300 yards of rushing. Had 14 touchdowns. That's actually pretty good. Stephon Diggs over 15,000 receiving yards. 9 touchdowns. Jerry Cook 983. DJ Moore 937. Odell finished with 423 and three touchdowns, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, Baker was getting the ball around a lot. Uh, Shaq Thompson, he did good for us. Trayvon Diggs and Dante Hightower actually did really good for us. Xavier Rhodes, he did good for us uh, after we signed him. Uh, let's see, James Bradbury, he did okay. Dante Jackson, who we kept on the team, he actually did really good as well. Uh, let's see, we finished 10th in points per game, 4th in passing yards per game, 16th in rushing yards per game. How the hell did we finish 16th? Um, defensive points per game, third, uh, defensive passing yards per game, we were ass, uh, 26, defensive rushing yards per game, uh, we actually ended up in first place there, uh, let's upgrade our players, uh, we're gonna get our coaching staff taken care of. Uh, let's see. Final pr final piece, not final price. I don't know where I got that from. That was actually a lot. 30. 30 again. This one is 40. And we put it on uh, Baker Mayfield. Alright, so it looks like we're only going to have one more here. We'll do in the clutches. Alright, let's sim to next week. And uh, we're going to see who we are playing in the divisional round. Alright, so we are playing the 8-9 uh, Arizona Cardinals. Let's give out these upgrades before I sim to the NFC Championship and hopefully we can make it. Uh, let's take a look and see. Bills beat the Patriots. Chiefs beat the Broncos. Titans beat the Ravens. Uh, looks like we are, like I said, we're playing the Cardinals, they beat the Eagles, Giants beat the Packers, that's actually a surprise, uh, Buccaneers beat the Rams. Alright, let's sim to the next week, I swear to God, if we lose to the Cardinals. I have no words. I literally have no words. 
and the Giants. So we lost to an eight and nine team. The Buccaneers lost to the Giants, who also finished eight and nine. So there are two eight and nine teams in the NFC Championship. Who made it to the AFC? Titans and Bills. So the sixth and the seventh ranked teams on the NFC side made it to the NFC title. The fourth and the seventh ranked teams made it to the AFC title. We finished 12 and 5, the best record in this series so far. Couldn't do anything with it. So the Cardinals made it to the Super Bowl as well as the Bills, who are Super Bowl favorites. Uh, let's see what their games were like. Uh, Cardinals only beat the Giants by six. Uh, Titans lost to the Bills by a touchdown. Um, if the Cardinals play like they did against the Giants, they are not going to uh, win this uh, Super Bowl. And they actually did on their home turf. Arizona Cardinals beat the Buffalo Bills in Super Bowl 57. Kyler Murray, Super Bowl MVP. Jalen Hurts, NFL MVP. That's the first time that's happened. Nick Cerrone, Coach of the Year. I think he's been Coach of the Year for us once. Uh, Cooper Cup, Aaron Donald, not surprised. Drake London on there again. Uh, Arnold Evichetti. Uh, that's kind of a surprise. I've never seen him on there before. <sighs> the, furth the, the furthest that we've made it into the playoffs. Finished with the best record in the NFC. Didn't even make it to the Super Bowl. Got some good trades. Signed some good players. Didn't even make it to the damn Super Bowl. Wow. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Uh, comment down below what your favorite trade was. Comment down below what players you would have liked to see me trade for. Uh, what players were your favorite signings. And what players you would have liked to see me sign. Uh, also, comment down below what other videos you would like to see. Like I said, this is another two video special. And later today, I will be uploading episode number 11 of the Head to Head series. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.